Hello there. I'm working on this ficus. This is a newly trunk chop ficus. Previously, this was a twin trunk. There was one branch going there, but it was. I chopped it because it was of the same height. So, and okay. this was also trunk chop from here because this was this trunk was going straight so okay then I would like to take this opportunity to show you the difference of carving a trunk chop versus a branch cut okay so because a trunk chop so this one is considered trunk chop this there was a another trunk grow, growing there and this is a previously cut branch but the wound was only up to here but it was creating a hole now a hole here so why was it creating a hole here because it was not carved deep enough so that was the error there and this wasn't smooth okay so it is uh, taught uh, in bonsai bonsai in bonsai schools or even in the internet that when you cut a branch you have to use a nub cutter to that's why nub cutters are made so that you can after cutting a branch you cut a hole and this will hit okay, this this portion will dig and then you have a hole that's that is when you cut a branch but when you do a trunk chop for example this one like this one on top and this one you have to carve a round such that instead of drawing a hole you make a a a little round uh, mound okay to facilitate healing but both 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 purposes are to facilitate healing so in this case the the healing would roll over I mean, the callus will roll over to that side here 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 all going to that side and then creating a round here and hopefully it will create a not a straight cut it will be a round and but in this case for a branch cut you have to cut deep and while here you have to make a round <laughs> so there is some confusion there and if you ask uh, bonsai teachers what's the purpose for cutting a a hole here and here you get them on the, the answers are basically to make uh, healing fa uh, faster or easier but but again the I'll do the explanation on that uh, confusion so the, the reason for cutting a hole here when you cut a branch is to facilitate healing such that when when that branch cut has totally healed it will have a flush it will not be bulging so it will uh, just roll over and the effect would be as if there was no branch growing there okay that's for the branch cut while for a trunk cut uh, you make a mound or you carve around so that when it heals there's a bulge and so for example in this one so you will still attain your trunk taper okay so this is the largest diameter here and it goes like that and tapers down uh, tapers up so basically that's the two different two different things so this branch cut is healing poorly it's it's bulging and and the callus is way up high than the uh, than the hole there so I am again nipping this side so that 
this will repair again and hopefully transition itself better and this one also I expect that this will transition itself better so okay that's the side of the big cut supposing so previously this was a straight cut from the saw then I make a curve there with a with a nub cutter okay this is nub cutters this is large and this is small okay so but then what needs to be done now you need to smoothing this out especially this cut here and such that this will again uh, repair and hopefully it will close it close the one heal the one and uh, it will not be creating a bulge okay anyway this this uh this ficus has a long way to go yet you have to create branches here then increase you have to repair this also you need to carve out this one okay so i'll be carving out this one here and there so i'll be using my grinder die grinder yeah bow grinder so instead of using a knife which will be too tedious You have to warn the callus here so that it will continue its repair. So somehow this this callusing activity has ended here because it thought that it is enough. But you have to warn it here so that it will continue to callus, and you have to dig deeper also around here so that the callus can can facilitate its flow towards its other. So that one now I have made a round hole and a smooth hole. Okay, so the next thing that I will do is to smoothen this side as well. Okay, the next thing to grind is this portion just to round it up. Okay.
basically that's it you have to run this now it's smooth that's okay and this one you have to dig deeper and wound the existing kylo so that it will continue to to meet and then the top here of course i need to that one at the top also needs to be smoothen out so this one here but this is a top trunk chop so meaning you do not need to hollow it rather you would like to round it So when you have wounds like this, you, you ensure that you have uh, wound, wound the existing callus so that the callus will continue to repair. So basically that's it. I'll give you a 360. I, I, and also these roots, if these roots are growing from the trunk, this has to be tied tighter to the Okay. For example, this is green from the truck. You have to tie it tighter also here. I will do that later. See this one. So that when this root will become big, it will help uh, thicken this, this trunk. So even this one it can be transferred like that. But this one is an aerial root and growing from, the, from a branch. So that's not included. So only these roots here will have to be tied tightly to the trunk. Okay, so the 360 is, is the trunk chop and this is the branch cut. And this is another trunk chop. So this has newly been cut and as you can see the branches are still very young. So you need to let this grow freely and about three meters long to, so that this for example this branch will thicken as big as as thick as this branch here so we need to carve this out but i'm not yet carving this because it might jeopardize this branch so i'm just letting this grow uh, when this becomes strong enough i can carve this out cut this and again carve out so basically this is the new apex, this is the branch right there. Okay, we need to thicken this because this is now the new trunk line and this branch and the other branches. Okay, all the other branches here will be kept to to thicken the lower trunk. So 360 that's the that's the one. Okay, so of course the next thing to do there is put some cut paste but I will be only using a, an ordinary office glue but the best thing to use is a cut paste made of beeswax or or the same or anything which has some medicinal uh, content ingredient so that's the one okay Again, the difference when you make a carving on a branch cut is make it deeper, and you can use that only with a even only with a knob cutter. And when you make a a trunk chop like this one on top and this one, you make a round. So that's the difference. Both uh, are to facilitate healing, but the trunk chop is to 
facilitate transition to a new diameter and movement. Okay, so for this case and this case. So, hope you learned something.